Hey guys, it's Matt from Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in today's video, we're going to cover uh, previous requests. Uh, so I have an order here open. Uh, I'm going to come down to the item ID line and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click previous requests. Uh, this allows you to, with a criteria that you put in, pull back a list of items or an order that a customer has done before and allows you to quickly add the items to uh, a new order. Um, by default, there's a date in here that I have set up to go back six months. If you look at this system setting, it's set up that way. So when somebody opens this, they don't accidentally run it wide open. Um, Cause if you had a very old P21 system, you would be pulling in a lot of records. You can change the date manually if you would like. Uh, but by default, my, my system is set to six months. You can set it to whatever you want it to be. Um, and then there's also Including quotes, you have options to remove quotes or only look at quotes. Uh, approved orders, you have to look at approved or unapproved or both. Uh, and again, the customer PO number is a good spot. If they know exactly what their PO number is, you can bring it back. Uh, in this first test, I'm just going to right click and apply my query uh, just as is. You're going to see a summary that comes back that shows me all of the individual items that that show up because of that query. Um, and then if you click on an item and go to the query results details, that shows you all of the times that they've purchased that item within that query. Uh, on the summary, it's just showing you the most recent. Um, and so you could, if you wanted to pick a different one from here, you could if maybe you had a special pricing deal or, or whatever. Something important to note, this top line is actually from a canceled sales order um, and the line is canceled, but because it's still on a, an approved sales order that happens to be canceled, it still shows up in this query. Just keep that in mind. I'm gonna come back to the main screen here. Uh, I'm, I could individually select which ones. For this case, I'm just gonna right click and hit select all. Now here's something funny with the recalculating pricing and maybe it's this version. If I right click select all, it doesn't automatically select them all. But if you select one of them and then right click and hit select all, it will select them all. What that checkbox does says, hey, I don't care what they paid for it six months ago, they're gonna get their new pricing. And that's based on however this customer is set up. So I'm gonna click okay. It's gonna take a couple seconds here and it's gonna bring all of these items I selected and put them on the sales order. Um, again, if you had a thousand items you were bringing over, obviously that would take a long time. Uh, I do wanna do one quick uh, note here on something else. I'm gonna bring up the previous request again. And this is getting a little bit more advanced, uh, but there are things you can do called operators. So if you right click anywhere in the grid and look at a list of operators, um, you have all of these things. Uh, I'm gonna use the contains one here uh, and you don't really click off of it. It's just to tell you which ones you can use. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna come in here into the item description and type in contains bolt. Now I'm not changing any other thing. And remember the last time we did this, I got three results back. So now I'm just putting contains bolt and hitting apply query. The only thing that's gonna come back is any bolts that we've purchased or any description that claims bolt. Um, and again, you can do that with item ID. You can say item ID begins with whatever, if you have an abbreviation uh, or suffix to your items. Um, there's other operators you can use. You can play around with those. Again, this video was a little bit more complicated than some of the other ones that we do. Uh, but if you guys like these type of videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have questions on this video or you'd like to see some different topics, put a comment below. And as always, Atlas is here to help you with your P21 needs. Thanks, guys.